How did you find yourself in this spot? Yeah. Um, it, it was a, it was a difficult chase day for us. I mean, a lot of a lot of storms ha had fired up off to the north as well. We were coming in on the north side, um, getting down toward the storm, uh, and we we rarely like to be on that side of the storm. It's usually the direction that the tornado is moving. There's usually a lot of hail on that side, and we, we try to not get hit by big hail. And then there's usually a lot of rain or a rain curtain that that will obscure your view of the tornado, and you so you don't really know what it's doing at that point. Um, so we always try to like to be on the, on the south side of the storm. Usually then it's moving away from you. There's no hail, there's no rain, and you're in the safest place uh, to be if you're going to you know, be on that in storm spotting. So I think we just ended up getting caught kind of on the north side and, and tried to get south and get away from it. We weren't trying to get closer to it. We are trying to get away from it uh, and ended up getting caught on the front side of the, of the tornado. And, you know, we've seen pictures of the, the GPS display mm -hmm. of all the chasers that were out there. So you weren't alone in that attempt to try and... No, I mean there were there were a lot of there were a lot of storm chasers out there, a lot of storm spotters, and I think they're. You know, I mean, my opinion of it is they they do a valuable job. I mean, there's what they do is they give ground truth to what you know, radar is looking at. Um, and they can, they can show you the little nuances that are happening, you know, the quick changes that happen. But, you know, there really at that point was just one road. And there was one road north-south. Uh, there was no east-west road. If there was an east route, I think a lot of um, chasers would have been on it. Um, just but having that situational awareness and knowing your escape route, I think, is really, really important. Well, that kind of leads us into the question of you know, how do you look at this now? And obviously, it's a couple days after the fact, but have you changed your opinions at all about what you might want to do in the future? Um, yeah, I mean, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, certainly, I think there are times when you're when you're out there in the moment and um, maybe you get caught up in the moment and you safety is not always the first thing that comes to mind then. But I think in, in having gone through that now, I think that's the first thing that's going to be in my mind. I mean, I'm going to. I'm going to be out there and chase if I choose to do that again. My wife have, might have something to say about that. But, <laughs> Your wife will uh, also chases, by uh, the way, sometimes. Right. Um, but, you know, now seeing the video, seeing what happened, having gone through that, you know, I'm going to treat it like my wife is sitting there right next to me or mm. you guys are right there next to me. What would I do the next time? Um, I, it probably would be different. And, and uh, if I'm not mistake, mistaken, some of the crew that was with you was with you in Joplin as well. Yeah, so, tight -knit. Uh, so we've been through this yeah. before, and we, we've seen these things. We've all done it for years now together, and they all we all trust each other. But um, I think just just being more aware next time, knowing where you are in relation to the tornado, goes a long way.